Hi, folks. My name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. Over the last 100 years, x-rays have been one of the great taboos in the world. Starting from the discovery of these photons back in 1895, fear mongers came out of the woodwork in droves. Although the great Wilhelm Conrad Rinken had realized one of the greatest findings in scientific history, naysayers were on the offense almost immediately. I will preface this list by pointing out that rarely is there a connection between medical x-rays and deaths that occur due to radiation exposure. It's important that when hearing this information, individuals can put this into context. So these things considered, here are the top six reasons why people are terrified of x-rays. Top reason number six, many people once considered x-rays demonic. Immediately after x-rays were introduced to the world, physicians criticized the limitations of accurate visibility using this technology. Scientists doubted its capabilities. But some religious communities created a profound fear by dismissing the discovery as the work of demons. No one, including surgeons, had ever seen bones in the body without the skin being pulled back. Even Professor Rinkin's wife, Anna, exclaimed the famous words, I have seen my death, when her hand was ever etched in history as the world's first x-ray. Top reason number five, scientists around the world lost their lives experimenting with x-rays in the early days. The discovery of the famed Rinken rays created a boom in the scientific world. Rinken refused to profit from the discovery, citing that the x-rays were a great benefit to the human race. He never made a dime from his discovery, but he did receive the Nobel Prize. But other physicists recognized the potential and seized the opportunity to capitalize on it. As a result, many ignored Rinken's safety warnings and lost their lives the world began to recognize that these x-rays can be dangerous. What was different in that day from today was the fact that the x-rays took a thousand percent longer to generate an image. A dentist in Germany took 25 minutes to expose his teeth and described it as torture. He experienced redness, loss of hair, and pain. The same exam today would take about a quarter of a second. A child at Vanderbilt Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee, was shot in the head and doctors used the new x-ray technology to take an hour-long exposure of his skull. The boy lived, but within a few weeks developed red skin blisters, loss of hair, and tissue damage. Top reason number four. One of the most famous men on the planet, inventor Thomas Edison, stepped in to expand the use of x-rays. During the process, his assistant, Clarence Daly, died due to inadvertently overexposing himself. Edison would later tell the world that he no longer wanted to work with the x-rays because, quote, unquote, he was afraid of them. So now, one of the smartest men in the world was admitting he was morbidly afraid of this technology. Top reason number three, the watchdial workers of World War I. When World War I was in full swing, women were desperate to earn money because their husbands, brothers, and fathers were off to war. Many factory and labor jobs opened up, and these women went to work. One of the most infamous of these jobs would be that of the watchdial workers in 1917. These women were hired to paint a new element called radium onto the face of wristwatches, which in turn caused the watches to glow at night. These products were hugely popular, hence creating a healthy demand. The managers of the plant trained the mostly young women to apply the substance by licking the brushes in order to create a fine tip to work with. The women were not warned that this was extremely dangerous. In fact, they were encouraged that the radium substance was harmless, even though those who prepared the radium wore lead aprons and took great precautions with the element because the general public could not distinguish between x-ray radiation and radioactivity exposure, they connected the two together and the damage was done. Top reason number two, the nuclear bomb drops in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Most Americans know about the bombs that ended World War II. 
It was enough to digest the enormous death toll that the initial explosion caused. But in the months and years that followed, the radiation effects on Japan's citizens garnished worldwide attention. The victims of this radiation exposure demonstrated loss of hair, gross skin burns, miscarriages, and slow and painful deaths. Images of these poor Japanese were displayed all over the world. Once again, radiation damage was wrongly connected to medical x-ray radiation. And top reason number one, scientists connected x-ray exposure to cancer. The regulation of x-ray exposure to the general public has been a work in progress over the years. The amount of annual x-ray exposure allowance is now 40 times less than what was allowed in 1945. This was because over time, scientists made the connection that there is a direct correlation between x-ray exposure and cancer. This specifies x-ray exposure in large amounts over a relative short period of time. What hasn't been reinforced to the public is that x-rays in large amounts, like a CT scan or a body scan, on a one-off basis isn't regarded as harmful or dangerous, nor are small doses of x-rays over a long period of time. But again, frequent x-rays in very high doses can render patients more at risk. But documented events like these are extremely rare. The bottom line is that perception is everything. X-rays can be regarded as dangerous when those examples are presented, but also when put into context. When general safety measures are implemented, medical X-rays are not only safe, but immensely beneficial to the diagnostic process. And that concludes our list. Thanks for listening. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.